your old ideas, if you become ANI, Electrical Instrumentation or Telecom Inspector or QAQC, so you need to have like this. All this. This is what I did, but we have a software, soft copy for this kind of notes. So this is a uh, sort of information, for example, this one. This is a sort of information related all the specification and instrument and electrical, also the telecom is related in your project. For example, we have fire and gas. So fire and gas, so all of the requirements related fire and gas, it's there and electrical design guidelines why you need to do this when you go outside for verification and checking the construction activities you need a document so in order you cannot memorize everything you have to do this kind of notes so for example, someone were arguing with you, some, sometimes you argue, you argue with the construction team. So then, what are you telling here? Ba basing on the guidelines, basing on the ITP, and based on the specifications and guidelines, this is the things, okay? So this is you need to do. This is what happened. So that you will become familiar in every activities that you need to do the inspection on testing calibration etc it's related for electrical instrumentation and telecom so what is the range of its to its detector gas measured zero dash 50 ppm range output is 4 dash 20 milliamps so instrument process pipe piping shall see slope up down toward the instrument at least 2.5 centimeter per 30 centimeter so all instrument piping shall be supporting when the instrument is removed for maintenance use tube unions for only necessary on long runs so you need to do this because when you go outside when you go site inspection or you are looking for for observations or surveillance you need to understand what is the requirements of your project for example trunking so cables so, so you have these things okay so what is the direct boring so what is the requirement so what is the distance separations of your cables it's b l b so all of this you need to understand okay and aside from that you have also your international standard so some of the standards there's a deviation then you can fight with a national international standard so this is for example i have this one marshalling panel cabinets control room and also this is uh, part of the uh, interview during your interview so if you are attending interview instrument electrical telecom whatever interview either QC technicians engineers sometimes there's a questions like this okay so IS than IS so see So I write it down here, for example, see, up to 60, the mi minimum distance between parallel instrument and power trends shall be based on the following table. So yeah, see, all of these informations that I wrote and I also prepare this as a, in my soft copy so that I can read every time i have an inspection for example there is an inspection for for cable then you know already what what is the requirement so okay 
So in Porsche line, there is an inspections for installation of of transmitter, capillary, uh, instrument, uh, all transducer. So fire and gas, color coding. So all of this you have a guide. So power testing transformer, for example, transformer and flow instrument installations and then the other one so uh, in the last page we have here telecom so wavelength so wavelength 850 1300 1550 so this is the testing if you do the OTDR test power meter test so so that you have an idea how to do the testing and now if you become a familiar all of these activities sometimes you open this sometimes no need to open because you already familiarize all of the activities and also i have here that's uh i prepare this see inspection test plan and then sequence of work so that's why i know since my background is from engineering construction then inspections so if engineers show me from the construction side they show me the drawings and then I know what is the issue of the drawing because this is my background I have an idea already so I'm working for eight years for detailed design so and this is your sequence of work from the construction pre-commissioning then commissioning and then this is this and then that's the time we have to giving guaranteed and then category a b c all of this information so that's why i know these things and then for the calculation as well you have also the calculations so you cannot uh, uh, go outside go for inspection without this uh, all uh, informations this is your Bible for I say you have an idea Okay, kinds of cables earthing connections high voltage cables So all of this you need to do this one so substation UPS configuration PLC so parts of the transformer parts of the breaker. This is the important when you do the testing See when you do the commissioning You need to do this CT testing, B VT testing, and then for the OL testing for the transformer. So you need to understand because you need to check this piece by piece and also what is all the information here during your inspection of the transformer for the transformer. And this this the CT, so during your inspection, for example, wrong installation of the CT wiring connections like that, and then this is the CBCT then you have an idea you have a guide so this is what I'm telling to you guys you need to understand if you become a instrument ins inspector ENI inspector QEQC so you must be familiar all of this and you need a book like what I did here so you do like that okay so this is a sort of example and information when you are working as a quality inspector, ENI, telecom. So this is a part of the QEQC inspector. Okay? And also I already explained in the last last couple of videos that already related QEQC engineers, Q how what is the requirements during the procurement as well so check it out in my last in my previous videos that i uploaded already okay guys until then see you thank you for for your subscribe and share this information so that everyone uh, they can learn as well especially the new comers in this field